Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look at the installation of Proxmox VE hypervisor in VMware Workstation Pro. Some of you might think it's crazy to install a hypervisor inside another hypervisor. However, let me tell you, we are not setting up a production environment here. This is merely for lab. So if you want to test things out in a lab environment and you don't have a spare server, you might consider installing Proxmox on VMware Workstation. Perhaps you want to deploy a container within Proxmox which generally requires fewer resources than the virtual machines. In that case, you can install Proxmox on VMware and manage containers that way. In case if you're interested in installing Proxmox alongside Windows machine, like a dual boot, I have prepared a step-by-step -step instruction for this purpose. You can check out the article here, which I will link in the description below. Since we are doing the nested virtualization, you may get some error along the way during the installation. So we will get rid of all that errors and properly install Proxmox hypervisor in VMware Workstation with the hardware virtualization enabled as well. But before we continue, if you like what you're watching, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. That would encourage me to create more such content like this one. So let's get started. Here's the step-by-step -step instruction that covers the Proxmox installation in VMware Workstation in my blog article, which I have already linked in the description as well. So what do you need to start the Proxmox installation on VMware Workstation Pro? Let's start with the prerequisite. We are using the Windows machine here to test this setup. So if you have a Linux machine with the VMware Workstation Pro installed in it, that will work fine as well. However, if you are using a Mac machine with the VMware Fusion, I don't think these steps will work for the Proxmox installation because the Proxmox is only available for x86 platform at the time of this recording. Latest Mac machine coming out these days are M-series chips which are ARM based. So you may keep that in mind. Next you need to have a Proxmox ISO image from the Proxmox website. Click here to download that. At the time of this recording, Proxmox VE 8.1 is the latest version. So click on download here. The ISO image will start to download. Let me save it in my machine. So depending on your internet speed, it will take some time. So let it download. Next prerequisite is, of course, you need to have a VMware Workstation Pro. You can get that for free from here. In the guide that I have explained how to get a VMware Workstation Pro for free for personal use. You may also check out the video card at the top right corner to watch the video. So once VMware Workstation Pro is installed, you can now proceed to start installing Proxmox VE in VMware Workstation Pro. Open VMware Workstation Pro and click on New Virtual Machine. In the VM Creation Wizard, choose Custom and click on Next. Virtual Machine Hardware Compatibility, choose the default. I have VMware Workstation 17, so choose in that. Next, Install From. Select Install Disk Image File. Browse for the ISO image. Select Proxmox ISO image that we downloaded earlier. Click on Open. Next. Leave the guest operating system to Linux. In the version, choose Debian 11.x 64-bit. And next. Name of the virtual machine. Let me name it Proxmox-VE. By default, the VMware will choose default C drive location in Windows 11 for the installation. If you have enough storage in the C drive, if you want to keep the VM files there, it should be all right. But I'm gonna keep my VM in SSD. That's where I have more storage. So click on Browse. Select the SSD that I have and choose VMware VMs folder. Okay, next. In the processor, I'm giving four. So this is again depending on how much processors that you have. So if you have maybe 20 processor or 16 processor, depending on the requirement, you may add the processor here. You can later change that as well. I'm giving about eight gigs of RAM. It's up to you how much RAM you wanted to give again. 8192, next. Network type, I'm choosing bridge mode here. That way I can access the Proxmox directly from my host machine as well as my local area network. If the bridge network doesn't work and you don't need to access the Proxmox VM from your local area network other than the host machine, you can choose the NAT instead. And if you choose the NAT network, you can access the Proxmox web GUI from your host machine, but you can't access it from your local area network. If you wanted to know more about the VMware network types, you may click on the video at the top right corner to learn more. I also have this guide which will explain different types of VMware workstation networks. So you may check out the article here as well that will help you choose specific network depending on your requirement. Click on next, leave the IO controller type to default. Next, disk type to default as well. Next, here choose create a new virtual disk and click on next. In the maximum disk size, 20 GB is insufficient. I'm giving about 80 gigs. Leave everything else as default and click on next. 
next we are almost done and and we can do one more step here to activate the hardware assisted virtualization which is a requirement if you want to have a good performance on the vms that you are going to install on the proxmos click on customize hardware and then click on processor here check virtualize intel vtx slash ept or amd v slash rvi and close that's it and click on finish proxmox virtual machine is now created you may now power on the virtual machine select the vm and power on the virtual machine as you can see the proxmox vm is now booting but for some people the proxmox will not boot instead it will throw an error message that says virtualized intel vtx slash ept is not supported on this platform continue with the virtualized intel vtx or slash ept if you click on yes you would get another error message which says module hp power on failed so you basically stuck unable to proceed further if you're getting this error i highly recommend checking out this article here which will help you fix the issue i have already linked that in the description as well i also have a video for the same and many people were able to fix the issue by just following the video so if you prefer watching the video check out the video at the top right corner assuming you didn't had any error or you fixed the error let's now continue we are now at the proxmox v installer screen from the installer choose install proxmox v option the first one and the installation has now begun proxmox v installer is still loading As you can see, I have selected bridged interface and I got an IP address 192.168.1.140 from my local area network, which is good. Accept the license agreement. The virtual hard disk is already chosen and click on next. Select the country, time zone and the keyboard layout and click on next. Enter the password and confirm password, your email address. If you try to continue without specifying the email, you will get an error message. So enter a proper email address here and click on next. If you want to change the host name, you may change it here. In case if you are planning to give it as static IP, you could do that as well here. I'm not gonna change the DHCP configuration, but let me change the host name to pve.getlabstand.local. Rest everything looks good to me and click on next. Here is the summary, click on install now. Installation now begun and it will take some time for the installation to finish. The installation is now successfully complete and it's ready to use. It says I can access the Proxmox by going into https colon slash slash 192.168.1.140 colon 8006. As we already selected the automatic VM reboot, it rebooted automatically. Proxmox is now booting and that's it. It's now asking me to enter the username. I'm not going to log in here. You can log in with the username as root and the password that we set up on the CLI. But we're going to do most of the changes on the GUI. So let me access the Proxmox GUI from the browser. Open the browser and enter HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.140 colon 8006 and hit enter. Ignore the security warning and click on continue. Username as root and the password we set up during the installation. Click OK on the subscription which is not needed anyway. And here is a Proxmox V GUI. You can now go ahead and install your favorite virtual machine inside the Proxmox and start building your lab or developer environment. If you're wondering how to deploy an ISO image here, you, you can download the ISO image and then select PVE on the left and choose the storage local PVE and select the ISO image and you can upload it here and proceed to install the operating system. I have multiple guides on how to install the operating system, but you may note that we are doing nested virtualization, installing a Proxmox hypervisor inside VMware workstation. So you cannot expect a bare metal kind of performance, but you'll be able to run certain VMs with at least basic performance. That's it. We have now successfully installed Proxmox hypervisor in VMware workstation. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.